I am starting my biggest time of the year with my art business where I get a ton of custom pet portrait orders. I already have two in, but before I do them, I've been wanting to do Hank forever. So tonight, I'm gonna wood burn Hank. Now to set up for Hank, I am going to be picking out my favorite wood burning tips that go along with my cold wood detailer. I'm going to be pairing it with some sandpaper and obviously some pencils and design things. After I have all of my tools together, I'm going to be designing and printing out the picture that I want to use for him. I do freehand these sometimes, but to really get the proportions correctly, I just found that this is the easiest and best way. That way I don't really waste too much time designing and laying out everything and I can just print it out, trace it on, and then put in all of the pretty little details. So after I have it printed out, I'm going to be taking the charcoal side of the charcoal paper, putting it down onto the wood where I want it, and then placing the design where I want it as well, and just pressing down on it, as you can see here. And then it will just transfer over to the wood on top. I already have a few lined up for this year, and I am continuing to take on pet portrait orders. So if you want one done by me, please email me at artfromally at gmail.com. You can also click the link in the description, and it'll have more explanations on price-wise and sizing for a singular dog. If you have multiple dogs, please email me personally. I can let you know how much they are there. Make sure to order one sooner than later. There's a wait list, and I want to make sure it would get to you by Christmas time. Today's been one of those days where like nothing is working out. Even just trying to print out this picture is being quite the hassle. Babe, is something printing? legitimately like a straight up headshot of him. Look at this. Now that we have that printed out, we need to trace it. Now this picture and most of Hank's pictures are really centered around his head. He doesn't have a very big chest, so I'm actually going to burn it as like a square piece and then it's going to be like more square rather than rectangle because I think that'll fit him best. So we are going to just trace it in this lower piece of the wood. Yeah. I need tape. So on this, there's a dark shiny side and then this matte side and the dark shiny side is going to be facing that because that is where the charcoal is actually at. So dark shiny side down on the wood. Now I like to always tape it down so it doesn't like fiddle around if I have tape for wiring but it'll work so when I go in to trace it I always use either a colored marker or a colored pencil so I can know where I've already traced so I have my cold wood detailer set at in between a six and a seven which is a good starting point for Hank and then on my pen, this is my favorite wood burning tip for pets. It's pretty versatile and easy to use for shading and texturizing. And now we need to cut this bad boy up into a square. So we've drafted Lance as our cutter for this evening. Everyone say hi, Lance. Hi, Lance. Saw's all time. <laughs> I was gonna say, no way Jose are using that. We're using that. Beautiful. Hank. Hanky boy. Where you at? Hanky boy. You are standing right where the thing was about to fall on your head? Classic. Hank. Look. That's you. That's you, buddy.
here's where I'm at right now. I'm filming currently the time lapse on my phone instead of the camera. So the quality probably looks a bit different. But in here, on this shot, you can really see the details that are going in. Just trying to really get all of his grooves in there with the right light of color. So leaving his pretty glistening white parts super white. And then I'm going to be filling in his eyes with a finer tip. But I'm going to be finishing off the rest of this first. It's looking really, really cute. Thinkers. What'd you think? What'd you think, bud? You like it? You like it. <laughs> During this wood burning, I basically just put on a TV show and slowly and relaxingly enjoy myself as I do it. I find that if I start to not enjoy what I'm doing or if I start to rush a certain project, it usually ends up looking rushed. So I think I might get it done tonight, and if not, I'll finish off in the morning and take some cute pictures of Hank with it. As I'm talking to you midway through, I want to remind you that to see more from me, the best way to do that is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please comment what you think, interact with me. I love meeting new people, whether you want artwork or not. Please interact with me. I'd love to hear from you. And Hank is crying, which that's a sign. Maybe I'll get him a lick mat. Want a lick mat? Do you want a lick mat? Do you want a lick mat? Lick mat? Let's go get one. Oh my god, you're drooling too. My lick mat? Okay. Is that you? Hankers! Hey! Is that you? I know it is! Nachi Beanies, I already did you! Don't you, Eva, you you're silly. She's so jealous. She is jealous, but I already bumpered you. That's Hank? That's also Hank. That's Hank? That's also Hank. <coughs> you like a potter? I'm gonna put it next to you. Oh, yes. Smell it? You can smell it some more. Are you shy? Do you look too handsome and is that why? Indian boy. Pretty girly. Handsome Nance. Handsome boy and artwork. Yeah. 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 I think it's safe to say that this is my new favorite wood burning of all time because it's my little hanger boo. He looks so stinking cute and I can see his personality right through his eyes in this one. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I post. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.